The rooms at Keneal Bay don't have televisions or telephones, but that's about as close to roughing it as it gets at this hotel, a luxury resort situated inside of a national park. Guests enjoy access to pristine beaches, tropical cocktails, and sunset cruises. At night, there's fine dining under coral chandeliers or out under the stars. And if you're wondering, how did a national park end up with a resort that feels like the kind of place a Rockefeller would stay? Well, it's because Keneal Bay is actually the kind of place a Rockefeller would build. In 1952, Lawrence Rockefeller landed on this stretch of St. John, the smallest of the three main U.S. Virgin Islands. He thought this was one of the most beautiful places he'd ever seen. So he bought it. A lot of it, at least. It's good to be a Rockefeller. Lawrence was the grandson of John D. Rockefeller, founder of Standard Oil. His father, John D. Rockefeller Jr., used some of the family fortune to purchase land to expand Grand Teton National Park and create Acadia National Park, where I began this year-long journey. And so Lawrence, while developing a luxury resort in the middle of paradise, began to get a similar idea. He thought there should be a partnership between commerce and conservation. And he built the resort with the idea that visitors can um, have the luxury of sleeping in a bed, um, but can still kind of experience the benefits of being in a natural setting. So everything we're looking at right now is National Park? Yes. Corinne Finner is a ranger at Virgin Islands National Park. The first 5,000 acres were a gift from Rockefeller. With assistance from local developer Frank Stick, Rockefeller bought up nearly half the island. At a picnic on December 1, 1956, he handed over the land to the federal government, with one condition, that he would still be allowed to run Keneal Bay. For Keneal Bay, it's definitely important to be sitting within the national park. Otherwise, you become a resort with a beach. Nikolai Hotze is the general manager of Keneal, where the setting remains the selling point. Rockefeller designed the hotel as one of the country's first eco-resorts. The lighting is low, the buildings are unobtrusive. The water is protected, and so when you go snorkeling here, you will see it. It's protected. The water is full of sea turtles. And while the land is owned by the Department of the Interior, Keneal operates under an exclusive lease, passed on to its current owners. But not much has changed since Rockefeller was in charge, except perhaps for the prices. In off-season, you can come and stay at Keneal Bay uh, from $390, $400 on, and the high end is uh, $1,800 in season per night, and then Cottage 7, Lawrence Rockefeller's house, uh, his old residence. The rooms of Cottage 7 were Rockefeller's preferred accommodations. More recently, they played host to stars like Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. In a way, it was this hotel that kept the island from becoming a bunch of hotels. Sitting on the edge of St. John, you can look across and see St. Thomas, and the difference is striking. On nearby St. Thomas, development runs wild. But thanks to this chance visit by a New York billionaire, today, nearly two-thirds of St. John is a national park. It's the Virgin Island that remained virgin, a paradise protected.